Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw the market test the 55 quarter initial support where responsive buyers stepped in. Heading into the open, our short term bias is neutral. And as long as the buy side can hold ES above the 53 quarter to 55.75 zone, there is still potential for a move back up towards 67 to 69 half. And then in order to put in any kind of breakout, beyond 67 to 69 and a half we would have to see broad market strength and some decent and sustained upside momentum and then on the downside in order for the es to put in a proper breakdown below 53 quarter to 5575 we would have to see broad market weakness and some sustained downside momentum so until the market either breaks out beyond initial resistance or breaks down below initial support it's in a very balanced state and our bias is going to continue to be neutral. In the event of a proper breakdown below initial support, we know that the sell side could become more dominant. And from there, we could easily test 48.75 to 50 quarter, which is a minor area of support. So that area calls for caution. And if we're breaking down on some decent downside momentum, then the 41 to 44 support zone would come into play. On the upside, a proper breakout beyond 67 to 69 half would bring the open gap at 72 half into play as well as the 76 to 78 resistance where sell side can be active on first test and then beyond that we have the all-time high at 84.75 to 86.75 so right now the market is still in a very balanced state between initial support and initial resistance and off the open as long as the market's holding above 53 quarter to 55.75, the market can continue to maintain that balanced state and return back up towards 67 to 69 half. Now within that range, we do have some minor resistance at 61 half to 62 half and continuing to hold below that pre-market resistance zone would signal a bit of weakness. But from there, in order to put in a breakdown below initial support, we would have to see broad market weakness participation from the other markets, and more importantly, downside momentum via the NYC tick, holding below zero, and printing some decent downside values of at least minus six to 800. So that is how the market is set up heading into the open. Given that the short-term bias is neutral, we have to be open to both long and short setups, and we also have to assess the situation a little bit more closely in real time. So those are the main ideas. Let's see if the buy side can hold ES above 53 quarter to 55.75. That's going to help set the bias and tone on the day, and we'll take it from there.